Yes, this must be it. We did follow the map given to us. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, I am Mr. Matunda, and this is my assistant, Mr. Obama. So, you are the students who ask for my help? Yes! Our teacher said you are the best when it comes to this. We need your assistance in using the compound microscope because we don't know how to use it. Specifically, we would like to know the functions of each part essential for the image production and reading. No problem. We will guide you all throughout. The first thing in handling in a ball microscope or any handle microscope is to handle it with care. Okay. When carrying it on ball microscope, carry it using the base and the metal arm support. I am sure that you have learned the basic parts of your microscope when you're in a gate grade, but let's have a short review. This is the eyepiece. It usually contains a 10 times or 15 times power lens. This is the head or body tube. The arm. The coarse adjustment. It brings the specimen into general focus. The fine adjustment. It tunes the focus and increases the detail of the specimen. The nose piece. It is a rotating turret that contains the objective lenses. The viewer spins the nose piece to select different objective lenses. Objective lenses. These are one of the most important parts of a compound microscope, as they are the lenses closest to the specimen. When focusing the microscope, be careful that the objective lenses doesn't touch the slide. This is the stage. It is a flat platform where the slide is placed. Stage clips are metal clips that hold the slide in place. This is the aperture. It is a hole in the middle of the stage that allows light from the illuminator to reach the specimen. This is the illumination. It is the light source. This is the condenser. It gathers and focuses light from the illuminator onto the specimen being viewed. Glass is the base. It is used to support the whole compound microscope. This was a short tutorial in preparing a sample and using the microscope. A microscope? A microscope camera? Microscope slides? A kitchen knife? Toothpicks? Pipettes? Cover slips? iodine tincture, an onion, and a cutting board. First, wash and peel the onion. Then, slice the onion as thin as possible. Put pieces of onion onto the slide and reposition them with a toothpick. Add a drop of iodine onto the onion. Drop on the cover slip. Your slide is complete. 
observe under a microscope. You will be able to see the cell wall and the nuclei of the onion cells. To further understand, here is a ray diagram of how the images in a microscope is formed. It is made up of two convex lenses of high power. The lens near the objective is called the objective lens with focal length FO. The lens near the eye is called the eyepiece with focal length FE, where FO is less than FE. The object is placed at a distance U greater than FO from the objective to form an image I1, which is real, inverted, and diminished at its focal point FO. Image 1 becomes the image with eyepiece. The eyepiece is adjusted until I1 is nearer to the lens than its focal length thus acts as a magnifying glass to produce final image I2, which is virtual, inverted, and magnified. In normal adjustment, the final image I2 is formed at at least distance of distinct vision, D equal to 25 cm from the eyepiece to produce highest magnification. The following is the magnification M of a compound microscope. The magnification M of a compound microscope can be calculated from the following formula, where MO is equal to the magnification of the objective and ME is equal to the magnification of the eye. Nice. Thank you for coming. I hope you share your knowledge with your classroom. Oh, and there's so much. True. As they were explaining, I research about compound microscopes. And you know what? What? Microscopes and microscopes in general are very important. How can you say that? Many medical advances do not have been made without the invention of compound microscopes and microscopes in general. Scientists' understandings about bacteria and cellular makeup has contributed to their knowledge about how, you, how humans and animals function, what causes diseases, and what can prevent them. You're right. The use of compound microscopes and other microscopes in general has led to the understanding of the Oh, it's getting late. Let's go home now.